Hello my friends, and yes, we are back with a model kit this time, the FJ43 SUV version. This is the hardtop version of the FJ series. This is the second in line of the series, the first being the pickup truck. On the side of the box, we have some great box art showing some suggestions of possible paint schemes. And of course, the decals for those are also included within the box. Well, let's take a look inside. Well, no surprise here, we are greeted with some finely detailed plastic. <laughs> this plastic sprues, no problem here. We have a insert, it looks like, and that shows some details of what is the spare tire mounting on the back. That should come in handy later on. And then, of course, at the bottom of the box, we also have the instruction booklet, which I'm looking forward to and seeing how that all comes together. Let's take a look at the plastic first. Well, the detail here is absolutely fantastic. Very crisp, very great molding. We have two different sets of tires here, one for basically an on-road and one for off-road with more aggressive tread. That should come in handy. You can mix and match that as you would like. We have, these are new sprues for the SUV version. This is the hard top and the interior sets on these sprues here. Looking forward to getting myself dug in with those as well. Well, let's take a look at the instruction booklet. Here we have the same box art transferred to the front cover. We have some nice, big, bold graphics. We start out with those tires, which we have the two tread patterns. One nice feature of these kits, the FJ kits, is that there's three different opportunities for the steering, left, right, or center. We get to the end of the booklet, and then we have the specific areas that have to do with this particular model, which is the hardtop version. This covers the interior, so we have our seats, our bench seats, and then we also have the hardtop, and of course the final assembly where we drop it on to what would be, in the previous kit, the pickup truck version. Of course, we have some color plates at the end, giving us some suggestions on how to paint it out. Well, I'm excited to get started, so let's start cutting out some plastic and building our kit. It really takes no time at all before this kit really starts to come together. It's a very modeler friendly type of a kit where you can see your progress very, very quickly. In no time at all, I'm ready to start painting. Rather than following the suggestions from the kit box and the box art, I've decided to go ahead and start to paint this in what would be a well-used, highly weathered civilian type vehicle. And for that, my base colors are gonna be using AK Real Color Paints. With the base colors applied, now it's time to start weathering the vehicle. And for this, I'll be using AK Gen 3 acrylic paints. My first focus on the weathering is on the interior because this is a closed vehicle and I want to get that established before we close it up. But this is not one of those types of working on the interiors and you'll never be seen again because this has large windows so there's going to be great views so all the work we do here is going to pay off a great model that will proudly sit on your shelf. With the interior complete and the model all buttoned up now we can start concentrating on the exterior of the model. Once again the base colors applied using AK Real Colors and then weathering is being completed primarily using AK Gen 3 acrylic paints. In my own personal workflow, there's a time when acrylics can only go so far and I feel like there's just one more level I can reach and that's when I start using 502 Abtalong oils. And once I have these applied, I can call this model complete. With no hesitation, I can say this is a gem of a kit. This is a wonderful build. It's a quick build. This is easily a weekend project for anybody who wants to do something quick and have just a fantastic kit I hope you've enjoyed this look inside the box, but more importantly, I hope you've enjoyed this look at what you can build from what's within the box. 